All right, it's Sunday, people, from beauty, 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 beautiful Jamaica. And I'm just quickly, oh boy, there's a papaya. So we're doing the papayas this morning. And they stayed this long on the because we had watermelon. We have so much pineapple. <laughs> She had apples. I sent apples to school with her. Um, I sent um, watermelon one day. You got watermelon one day, Vicky Kayla? Yep, and I sent pineapple. So she's not only getting chips and juice, guys. She's getting her a lot of, lot of fruits. Um, those are the oranges. We have some left, and they're really sweet. They're green, but her word... I weren't. Um, yes, yeah, she said they were sweet, and they are sweet. So we had oranges yesterday. We had oranges the day before, and today we're gonna do the papayas. And so she can have some. Maybe she bring papaya tomorrow. For, she says she has never had papaya. So there we have it, guys. So listen, every little thing find the blessing in it. You hear me? Find the blessings in it. Let us not worry about what we don't have. Let us not worry about what could have been. Let us stay in the moment and enjoy every little blessing that comes our way. Um, it's just a, 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 you know, a beautiful day. And yesterday we should have gone, we should have been out um, didn't get a chance where we're dressed up and here ready, but something happened. Um, the guy who always brings us, and this is what I tell people when I talk about things that are going on, guys, don't sit and think that I'm bashing Jamaica. I'm not bashing Jamaica. It is real. Even though we are in gated communities, we cannot sit and believe that everybody in the gated community or retirees or people who, you know, are not mentally challenged. No matter where we go, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Don't think that scammers who had the money to purchase these homes are not in here among us. Right? So we just have to be focused and understand that life is what it is. And we just keep praying for God to guide us, protect us, provide for us, and just be always, always, ever, ever near <laughs> us. Let us never, never, don't underestimate. When I talk about these things in Jamaica, they are real things that happened. Might not have happened to me, but they've happened to people who have spoken to me. And we see it, sometimes it's not covered in the news, but it's out there, it's real. I'll tell you this this morning, that this, I'm telling you, happened to my aunt. She went to the bank. She's old. She's old. She's older, older. Here, all white, you know. But she was an accountant. And she also, she was also an educator. And she went to the bank. She stopped at the ATM outside and she... Look, she, she got a printout of her balance. Then she went in the bank. She says, my niece, my, my bank book was filled. And so I went in to ask them for another bank book so they can update it in the bank book. She didn't want papers that she might lose. She wants to keep on updating her account in the bank book. So she got the, the amount in her account, but remember she didn't have a bank book. And she went inside the bank. And she stood at the counter, she said, she asked the young man um, for, a, for a bank book. The guy said they didn't have any. And she said, that's strange. How could a bank not have a bank book? Um, so she said to him, could you tell me what my balance is? He looked it up and he wrote an amount on a paper and showed it to her. So when he showed it to her, she says, are you sure? And he says, yes, miss. And she pushed it, she put the paper there and she said, um, I need a bank book because I don't know you could have gotten that amount when I just did my 
I just printed outside and this is the amount. The guy pulled back the paper and while she was there talking to him, she asked for a manager. And the guy stood there at the thing and he folded up the paper and pushed it up under the machine in front of him, right? Stuffed it up under there. When my aunt, the manager came over my aunt explaining, the paper can't be found. The paper cannot be found. So my aunt is saying, how could I have gotten this from the ATM? And I didn't withdraw anything. I stepped right in here. And then all of a sudden, that's the amount. And it was uh, an, an amount that was, not, that was noticed, you know. And the manager and my aunt, they're looking for the paper, looking for the paper. The guys there, you know. So he was fired that day, right on spot. The woman is looking, she's moving things, looking at my aunt, says, lift up the machine. And when my aunt bent and looked up under the machine, the lady lifted it up. That's where the boy stuffed the paper. When the lady pulled it out, she saw that what my aunt was saying was true. So I'm saying this to tell you guys that people are out there that are, that, you know, are, are, are savvy in their behavior. If he did it in Savlamar, he has friends other places that they, that they talk to and they also do it. So I'm just saying, sometimes we come home and we feel like we, 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 we're good. Yes, we're good. In Jamaica, there's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot to enjoy. But we have to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Keep our eyes open and, and, and just pray to God for guidance and for, for protection. Because people are creating... Jamaicans are some of the most creative people you can ever find. Remember when passports, Jamaicans were the ones who used to steam out pictures out of passport and put other people's picture in a passport, send them a foreign, you know. If technology didn't come in, when we had a cousin who got caught because they used to go up and oversee them time and send the passport home and there was somebody in the passport office who would backstamp the passport for them back and, 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 and they send it back a foreign and people get to spend so much time a foreign and come home and have no problems. It was when technology became this big thing right across the board that my cousin, when he, he didn't realize it. So when he came down and thinking it was all peace and safety and decided not to go back, not even six months later, he had a job. He was working with a construction company. So he was making his money and came down. And when he was ready to go back, people them asked him, how long you stayed the last time? He said, six months. He said, you sure? So said, yeah, I only stayed six months. But of course, computer, the way them scanning passport, and could tell him exactly when he went back home, even though the passport had showed a different date. And when he, when he, he, a wife came down and married him, and it took her years to get him out of this country because everything now is technology and it is, you know. But Jamaicans find a way to outsmart, to outdo every time they know for, to break the systems. So just keep your eyes open, guys. I'm not bashing Jamaican telling the facts as it is. You come home, do not be sitting there trusting. You're coming home, know how to, 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 to use your phones to transfer funds, use your phone to check your balance daily, use your phones to keep track of things. When they send you, send you a text message to say, set up those things on your phone. So when a withdrawal is done, you're getting a notification. Don't come and sit down and feel like, oh, these people are so nice. Oh, my God, I sat them for three hours. She was showing me how to. She went on her phone and showed me how to. She took my phone. And, and in your head, you're not stopping to think that, why would she be on her phone while I'm doing this big transaction? Why is she on her phone? We don't understand when we don't understand it, the whole thing. People snapping pictures and you don't even know. I had a principal, and this was in America, right in Connecticut. And he had a, a, one teacher who became angry at him for whatever reason. And these were people that he would push aside his black teachers 
to support these white people. And when it, it didn't work out for the white guy the way he wanted it, he started a whole thing to pull that principal down. And the principal, he went to the principal's office discussing something about the downtown in the, in the, in the district office and put the recording, the recording button on his phone, sitting in front of the principal and recorded every word the principal said. Mind you, the principal is unaware, so he's just speaking his mind. And that recording was sent downtown within minutes after the guy left the principal's office. And so we have to be careful with this technology. Not even a sound, a picture is snapped. Not even a sound, a text message is sent, and you are sitting there unaware. So I'm just telling us, guys, be careful. The situations here are real. It, when it has to do with money especially, people can be devious. As I said, they want what they cannot afford, and the way to get it is to take it from innocent people. Make it a great day by trust people. Miss Bev is not bashing Jamaica. I love Jamaica. So because you hear me talking about these things, it's not things that happen to me, but are things that people express to talk to me about. And I'm relaying it to you guys as a precaution. Some of it I've seen it. And I am relaying it to you guys as precautions. That's my point of view. You, if you are having it differently, because I didn't say the entire Jamaica is this way. A lot of, lot of us came home and we have had good experiences with our families building, with our families doing this. I'm just saying, guys, these things can happen. Make it a great, great day. Much love to all of you.